Hi, in today's video we're going to be looking at the Datum Quattro laser level. Now, this is a friend of mine's, um, he said it's basically just dead, not doing anything, so we'll pop some batteries in and we'll see what it does. Right, so... Yep, no power light, no nothing. Oh, we'd open. Let's see if we can take it apart. Right, let's see if I've got any power. Should have more than that. I'm sure we should have about six volts there. This looks like the power terminals here. I'll just double check what we've got here then. I don't know if we've got anything going here. Mm. Anyway, I'll just connect this ribbon. So we can see a bit better here. Oh, right. That's the power one here. <coughs> right, I might have to cut this cable tight. Right, so here's the uh, the power going to the board. There's actually another set of. All uh... oh, right, okay. Yeah, one goes through a charge and socket on the bottom. But seeing as we're not using rechargeable batteries, right this second. Right, we've got five points. Two seven volts there. Let's see if we can see anything obvious on the board. Right, I've actually spotted something. I thought I could smell something a bit odd. Um, it looks like there's some uh, burnt components down this bottom corner of the board here. So I'll have to see if I can get the board out. Right, so. Oh, 
Right, it just looks like it's uh, held down by those three plastic screws. But see those three metal screws into the plastic. Now why is not that coming off? Right, just needed a little bit of persuasion. There we go. So, it looks like we have some burnt components just around here. So, I'll give that a clean up with some IPA and then we'll see what the damage is like. The bottom of the board looks okay, so it just looks like it's on the top. Um, I wonder if I can get this bore out completely. Um, Yeah, it might be worth trying to get this board off completely, I think. Um, right, if I undo those four screws and then disconnect all these connectors. Right, let's see if we can get this uh, board off then. Right, it looks like it's got a bit of glue on. Okay then, we have the circuit board out. Right, so... You can see the, uh, you can see the damaged area a bit better now. I'll put a bit of IP on there and we'll clean it up and see what it looks like. Well, I can see a blown capacitor there. I think I might bring the microscope in, see if we can uh, get a bit closer view, see what's going on here. Well, that's where the power comes in. And it looks like we've got a blown track, a few blown tracks on about here. They mainly look like earths. And well, that's marked Q1 there. And there's no sign of a transistor, which uh, isn't good. Now, there's a bit of a track. Yeah. 
There's a capacitor there, it looks like it's exploded. I think the rest of the circuit board actually looks all right. So I think the uh, the main damage so far that I can see anyway seems to be that capacitor there. And that transistor that's no longer with me. Right, I think we'll check a few of these components. Um, just a round about here to see if any of them short because obviously something's gone catastrophically wrong with this so let's have a look well I don't know whether that's short but it's measuring short could be something else in the circuit uh, let's try this Yeah, let's measure on short. It's not measuring short across those two pins, but it's definitely measuring short across those ones. Looks like we've got a short on this as well. Right, I think we're going to have to take some of these components out and measure them. Um, so far, I'm getting that appearing to be a short circuit. Uh, that seems to be measuring short. This seems to be measuring short. See that a book or boost converter. Which I guess drives this transistor here, which then drives this uh, which then drives this inductor. Charges this capacitor up here, and this is I suspect it might be a voltage regulator and then this is the output to the rest of the uh, logic I would think that's kind of what it looks like anyway right so I've got the uh, new motor controller ICs now so I'll get the microscope in we'll solder those in and uh, we'll give it a test and We'll see if it works.
So I've just finished replacing the three motor driver ICs here. Uh, one was short circuit, one of them was measuring 500 ohms and the other one actually seemed okay but I thought I'll replace all three. The other things I've changed is there's a little um, step down DC to DC controller here, a little uh, book converter controller chip which was shorted. And also this capacitor here, which is, is that one there, which was blown to bits. There is a, a bit damage to some of the traces and a component that's actually been blown off the board there. What I've done is I've just bridged that with a bit of wire underneath uh, and that seems to have the thing working. So I'm not sure what that component was or, I mean, it's more Q1, which you know signifies a transistor, but like I say, I'm not sure what it was doing and I can't actually find the, uh, where it went or, or wherever so I've just had to bridge that out and like I said it seems to be working so um, the, the book converter circuit's working I'm now getting 3 volts out of the uh, test bin here which then feeds the microcontroller these 3 motor controller ICs they get the power straight from the um, straight from the power in I'll just I'll just measure the uh, the old ones here just to show you what readings I was getting. If I measure the uh, the first one here, we're getting a reading of about one point one ohms there. If I measure the next one, we're getting a reading of about eighty eight ohms. And if I measure the next one, we're in the mega ohms. So that one might be okay, but I just thought, well, the other two were blown. We'll we'll replace all three. So. Right, now it's just a matter of uh, reassembling it. <clears throat> so, put these damaged components out of the way. Nice. Well, we seem to have life. Looks like it's busy leveling itself. Seems to be spinning. And I've got a nice laser line. Maybe you can see the laser a bit off it turn the, the uh, light off. Right then, we'll finish putting it back together and then uh, hopefully that's it. together now. I think one of the screws should still be around here somewhere.
Right, you've got the other screw. We've also got the uh, the laser detector here, so yeah, so that seems to work as well. Well, I've actually just finished recording the video on this, um, and I thought, oh, I wonder what the, uh, if the charger's okay on this. So I thought I'd pull the charger out just to, just to check it was outputting the right voltage, and it's the wrong charger. This is a 24 volt charger, and the unit takes four normally rechargeable batteries but I, I didn't have any rechargeable ones but so the unit actually runs on 6 volt so that'll be why it's fried so obviously somebody has plugged in the wrong charger and blew the thing up they probably thought oh this charge so whether or not the original charge has failed and somebody's just had this charger lying around and thought oh this one will do but yeah that's been the cause of the problem that's 24 volt and the unit is only 6 volt I think the actual charger, uh, the original one, I'll double check because uh, I've got one there. Uh, so I've actually got the same laser level myself. The uh, I'm sure the original charger is only about seven seven volts or so. So yeah, that's the problem, and that's what's been the cause of it. So yeah, I think we'll call this one uh, another success. So if you have any comments or questions, please leave it in the comments section below. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day. Thanks for watching.